Good afternoon. Welcome to Interesting Talks with Footprints Counselling Service. Um, today we're going to talk about time and life and how we spend our time throughout our life. Um, so back to the business part. Um, like this video, share this video. I'd appreciate it. Um, leave comments on YouTube or on Facebook. I'm sure I'm going to post it on Facebook. And um, of course, share it with anybody you feel that might find this video useful. So today we're going to be talking about life and time. And in a way, time management. So how you spend your life regarding to time is the most valuable thing you have. We could call it a currency. So whatever or however you spend your time, that informs you of who you are. How much time do you spend on working on yourself? How much do you time do you spend working on your dream? How many books have you read in the last 90 days? What new skill have you learnt in the last year? What investment have you made in you? And I see a lot of people rushing to get home in the evenings. And the only thing they're going to do is get home and sit down on the sofa and spend the next three or four hours watching TV. Or on Facebook, looking at people's posts and posting stuff about themselves. What's that? Is that a good use of time? The most important thing is to value your time. As it's one of the things we can never ever get back. If you're gonna lose something, let it be money. You could always have a rich uncle who leaves you money in their will, or you could win a lottery. But one hour lost is an hour lost for the whole of your life. You'll never ever get that back. So how do you spend your time? What matters? What matters to you? How you use your time in a meaningful way. Some people value their time in the way of money. Some people, I've heard them saying stuff like, oh, I earn £70 an hour. While I'm talking to you on the phone, I'm missing time. I'm losing money. Sure, you're losing money. But what about time? Time is something you can never, ever get back again. So a good way to wake up your senses is to imagine, to picture, is if somebody told you that you've got one year to live. I'm sure that would focus your mind. And then what would you do with that time? How would you make the most of the year you have left? Everybody has 24 hours in a day. And 24 hours in minutes, I believe, is 14,040. If the average person lives 80 years, roughly, that is 42 million minutes. As the time's ticking by, what have you done with your minutes? If you're in a situation where you're unhappy, you're not satisfied with your life, your partner, situation that you're in, take steps to move away from them. It may seem daunting to begin with, but step by step, you'll get more and more clarity. I used to work in the bus industry. And in the bus industry, I remember lots of people were doing overtime to make more money. And yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. I personally, I never did any. And then there used to be conversations of people saying that when they retire, that's when they're gonna start living the so-called good life. For me, the good life starts today. And every day that we have needs to be the good life. But it's for you and myself to make it the good life. One of my favorite sayings is, life is not a dress rehearsal. You don't get a second chance to do things or a third chance. 
you have to do it in the time that is presented to you or you have to make use of the time as it's presented to you. You know, life doesn't begin tomorrow. It doesn't begin next week. It doesn't begin 20 years down the line. Life is now. So that's when you need to start living. Taking action. Making the most of what time you have. Take some time to work out what you want to do and how you want to do it. But once you do, it's down to you to start implementing it, isn't it? Now, a third of our life, we spend in bed, sleeping. We get from that recuperation. We get revitalization of ourselves. It allows us to be focused in the morning when we wake up. we are not got a foggy head because we've had a good night's sleep. Another third of our life we spend at work. So we exchange our time for money, which a lot of people don't like doing, but I can understand the necessity of it. But other spin-offs are you learn skills and you build relationships with work colleagues. So there are other side benefits. But if your main benefit is just ex exchanging your time for money, it's, uh, it's not such a good thing. But of course, I understand people have to do it. Remember, time is precious. It's more valuable than anything you have. You can alter the future by the way you spend your time. So, to recap, your life is in your hands Time is in your hands. Every minute, every second that goes past will can never be revisited. Life is not a dress rehearsal. You need to be ready for every situation that comes your way and also to plan your way for the future. Don't take tomorrow for granted. Don't look too far ahead thinking that this is what's going to be happening for me in the future because tomorrow is not promised to anybody. Time is the master, but time can be disaster if we don't care. So until next time, take care. Stay positive, or try to stay positive. If you like this video, like it. Share it. Let other people know about what I'm talking about. Maybe it will wake them up that they're sort of living in a sort of false state of security, thinking that, yeah, they can do what they want, when they want, time is on their side. Time can be on your side, but one thing it isn't, it's not going to wait for you. So, take care, bye for now.